hey YouTube. Um, I just wanted to share my truck build with you guys because I checked out some really useful videos and I just thought if I could lend a hand to anybody, that'd be really cool. Uh, the idea I got was from a guy, Tyler Williams, I believe. I'll include his link below. Um, but he did something similar and I like it because you can easily take everything apart just like you see here, um, remove it from your truck. Uh, but it's also very sturdy and really cool. So I'll put it together and show you what it looks like. I think Tyler, he did it where it goes over the wheel well for one of them, but I left it like this for both. And the reason being is I had made cubby holes that you can get into here. Go in here next. And I decided to not screw them in so you can take them out easy. I just glued these little brackets on the side that they just kind of rest in. And then I put a couple extra pieces here for my little cubby holes cutouts just to make sure that they don't fall over. So these are just little extra pieces that I kind of added last minute. And they don't need to be in any brackets, they're kind of just resting there. Which actually is this one here. This one goes over here. And you'll see when I piece it all together what those are for. So, these are the plywood pieces. I'm going to show you actually what I did. My mom and I kind of covered these with like a fake leather here. Stapled it down, taped it so it doesn't get snagged too much. Um, and then, you know, it's kind of waterproof, no splinters, and it looks nice. Right in there like that, and then when we're sleeping, so the mattress is going to be more on this side. You can kind of pull it up. You can have a little cubby hole space here. You know, little bins <laughs> so things don't get rolling under here and get lost. But put that in later. All right, let's keep going. one and there you go so I had to do a little one here because of my cut out around my truck here and I just figured this is easier than actually going around that yeah it works so last thing we did is I built a leftover wood I had I just built sort of a sleigh drawer so it has a back wall and two side walls. And that's just so things don't, while we're traveling, fall out of here and get all lost. We can't reach it when we're camping, everything's set up. So yeah, I didn't do all the way with the walls because it's all the wood that I had. Uh, but I think it'll work fine. I'll just put something bigger here that obviously won't get, I won't have anything loose sliding around. It'll be fine. Um, and then I have this old bin that fits on this side. Same deal. It can get pushed back. I can reach it easy enough. So we have still some space here to work with for our bags and kitchen gear and all that stuff. So that's it. Um, actually, I can put the mattress, show you what it looks like. If you want to wait, you can see that. It's the mattress I got on Amazon. It's a four inch memory foam. It's cool, it's, I think the name of it, it is Cedar Pier US. Um, 
but it's a waterproof covering, which I thought was good because, you know, camping can get kind of messy. And so keep the mattress clean. You can wash this cover. It unzips here. You're going to have to take a look. It unzips. You can take the foam out, wash this mattress top, which I think is really good. And it folds up nice. It's a little bit big for my bed. And I thought about cutting part of the foam out like some people do, but I don't think we need to because we came up with an idea. Let's see, I gotta get in here. Okay, so get in here. And it's great comfortable, especially with the tailgate down. But if you need to close up the thing or you just want this up, it's actually quite comfortable. Scoot it up, you know, to the edge here. And it's, it's kind of like a little couch. It's really great on the neck. I'm excited. It's gonna be a great trip. Oh, I forgot to show you the cubby holes here, how you can access them. So again, the, when we pushed up here, this is probably where my dog will sleep. I'll put a little dog bed type thing here for him. But you can just kind of go in here, open whichever way, get into here during the night, keep stuff down there, which is nice and handy. Same, you got an option over here. So anyways, Something to consider when you're building this is cut yourself out some little spaces for cubby holes and just throw some extra long pieces of wood here for support for it. No need to do like a fancy frame. This holds up just fine as it is.